So I want to, let's, let's pop a salad real quick um, before we go and let's shoot on a chair. So yeah. many people think about textures only being tabletops. Tile, um, the tile is a great surface too that we um, get from um, home improvement stores. <laughs> we shoot a lot on tile. <laughs> home improvement stores. Good job. They shoot on you tile. Good job. Good job. You know, Chris. it's only you know four dollars <laughs> for a square of tile. Shoot a ton on tile. But we're going to shoot on this chair. So I'm going to. I only have one dish, but I'm going to say I'm going to do a stand in here first of all. We're going to make it very lifestyle. And if Todd can catch, I'm looking here. I'm like, I love this texture. Okay, I'm looking at detail. I'm not here to shoot this. If I had a bigger background prop, I could probably. Maybe, actually, maybe we can. Let's go, let's go detailed on this. How about that? Yeah? This is how we do it. This is how we do this it. This is how we do it, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're pulling things around all the time. Sometimes we don't always have, we don't have C-stands at home. So this is our kitchen. We're like, dog, can you stand here for a sec? So here we go. <laughs> I mean, this is a great scene right here. Looking at this table, the texture, it looks awesome. So I've already de decided I'm gonna do a salad. I chose arugula, and I chose it because it has a lot of texture. I'm, I'm building it high. And the salad, I've added a little bit of radish, so I wanted to add a radish on the side, but I didn't want to slice it up. I just thought it's just so beautiful the way it is. Why don't we keep it as a whole shape? To, pl to plate this, I've chose the radish with the really thin leaves, and again, this tail is just so amazing. Check it out. I mean, it's just so cute. How can you not love this radish? <laughs> Hero, don't eat it, okay, guys? But it's so cute. I just want to eat you No. <laughs> I'm gonna actually save it for that. This is gonna be Hero Radish. That's awesome, okay? So Todd knows that's the focal point because it's a, like a radish salad or a salad with a side of radish. I'm gonna add some more stuff, but let's keep it simple for a minute. And then I'm gonna, um, Go ahead and add a little more layering. God, I can do so much. What do you want me to do? Um, how about we do some herbs? Um, oh, I bought this to show you herbs. Always keeping them fresh. I love buying plants, especially if you have a shoot that lasts three days. Buying this is awesome because they can, they're so super tender. Leaves are small. The texture is great. These are always my favorite to buy when I need herbs if I can't get them from my garden in the summer and it's more too early in the season or too late in the season, I'll always buy a plant on set. So on set, we'll always have thyme plants and everything. We'll go to the home improvement store or the local nursery and just buy a ton of herbs and plants. Hey, how about we stick this back there? Would that be kind of cool? Yeah, should I stick some of these up there? See the frame first. I can't decide. You guys have to tell me. Okay, what, 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 oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay, what do you want me to use? Which one? Where's Mary time? You guys are so slow. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. See, Todd and I threw something in the map just like that. It's not complicated. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So we want to draw your eye to the back. Like writers who know, a really good book, a really good story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And that's what I was always taught when I was in school. When you write a story, you should have beginning, middle, and end. Same thing with a photograph. A photograph has the beginning, middle, and end, the different layers within an image. So in this image, we have a beginning, which is this blurred tabletop. So there's always, now we're thinking in three layers as we're building and as we're styling. Because a great photo also has a beginning, middle, and end, just like any story. So Todd knows he shot it shallow. To me, the first layer is this blur, which is, Something that you don't realize, um, the blur adds so much value. Because if you were to make it all sharp, it would be feel very one-dimensional. But because you shot it shallow and blurred this out, it adds a little bit more depth to the frame. So now I have my beginning. This is my middle. Now I'm going to bring an end to the frame to help you draw the eye back. So that way, this photo has the three layers we're talking about, beginning, middle, and end. So that's how we're breaking it up now. So when you go to a magazine that you love so much, you're going to know, hey, I know that's 2 o'clock light. Bam. OK, I can see the beginning, middle, and end on that angle shot because Todd and Diane talked about it. It's like a well-written story, beginning, middle, and end. I could finish it just like that, and it's simple. But let's say I want to add a third layer in the back just to help extend the eye to the back of the frame. Everybody's going to buy a chair now. <laughs> and look at that soft light on it. Isn't it just fabulous? That delicate little backlight on it. 
There we go. So I say we shift it. So I'm going to shift it because it's too much, too center. So let me make an adjustment back here. Okay, that's okay. But to me, that's a finish for me because it still allows you to know there's something back there, a blur, a garnish, or something. But you know, it's a personal decision. But as long as I feel like there's two layers and somehow, because it makes the frame feel more two dimensional. See? Can you shoot a little more top down so I can see my radish? Sure. And I like that little rad that little lettuce like folding out. That's okay. You know, don't feel like it has to be all contained in the vessel. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna add one. I'm gonna add something different. That's great. I think I like the other angle better, sorry. All right. Let's go back. Okay. So then I'm going to add another you layer. You never know until you shoot it. Okay. I'm going to add another layer right in front here. I'll get you in between. Just for a little texture. Just to show a little herb or something like that. And then in the back, I could always add the dressing. I can always add a drink or something like that. My apron's falling apart. But yeah. I can just continue adding. But I'm happy with this. You know, what do you know when you're happy? Because I think it's pretty. And I'm going to, you know, I can always add other things later, but... It looks great. See how the little bit of, of texture adds to that? Can you just straighten it up? Yeah. What? Did I say something funny? <laughs> Did I say something mean? <laughs> it was just your very blunt direction to, oh, <laughs> to your partner. <laughs> there we go. So it's going to be straighter. OK. OK, I'm not done yet. OK, last thing, I promise. It's not perfect yet. The radish is feeling a little dry, okay? I have my spritzer bottle, I have my bowl of bottle, a bowl of water, oil. Ready? Here we go. I feel like this radish doesn't look fully fresh yet. I feel like it doesn't look like it truly came from the farmer's market. Because I paid 20 bucks for it at the farmer's market. I'm just kidding. There we go. And then having those little bit of touches after, it's all in the end, you see? And you know, how long can we work this frame? We can work this frame for another 20 minutes, but do you want to, you know? See, you move away a bit today. You see how that glisten now? Okay. The sheen, just that little bit of bam, it went from dry to fresh. I feel like that in itself just changed the frame. And then I think we're Ready for print on that one. You just mentioned you know, you can keep working on an image forever and ever, yeah. but do you have a mental checklist of the things that you go over to make sure these like key elements are right, that you kind of look at the frame and say, okay, I've got the lighting right, I've got the this and that. Is there kind of like a top few things that you make sure you've got? Yeah, um, I think there's a bunch of things because we've been shooting for so long. It just, you just know by feeling. It's just like when you cook. Like some people don't measure, they just know by taste. And same thing within an image, we kind of know by taste. So for us, it's always lighting. It's visual taste. Yeah, visual taste. So mm -hmm. we know by lighting, texture. Um, is the hero still there? Did we lose the hero? Because sometimes we're adding so many things to the mm -hmm. frame, we're like, oh, wait a minute, what was the hero? So what were we supposed to shoot? That's actually a big part of it, too. Is the first thing is you try to look at it with basically an open mind and look at it as if you're looking at it for the first time and find where you're drawn into the image. It's like, are you drawn into your hero? Or do you feel like when you look at the image, you're not sure where your eye is landing, where it's finishing? And that happens a lot. It's like you sometimes you work so hard on building out the props or the different parts of the dishes or everything, and it's like you kind of have lost where your hero is going to be. So I think that's the biggest thing is that you find that you're drawn immediately to the hero. And then the second part is, does this give the feel that I want? And, so, and that'll be through the combination of everything. There's the feel through the lighting, through the propping, and you start to narrow down where you can make a change if it's not there. Yeah, can you shoot it one more time? I just feel if we have time, I feel like it's a distraction now. This tail is a little distracting. So I'm actually <laughs> gonna cut the tail, I'm sorry. Oh. I just felt like it was crossing the frame a little too much. And I feel like that's gonna feel more natural. I didn't, I didn't wanna say anything, because it, you know. Oh, you should. You, well, you, you, was you, this you, annoying to you guys? Then why didn't you say anything? <laughs> you were so fond oh of the tail. Oh my gosh, you guys, don't be afraid to hurt my feelings, okay? <laughs> We all work. It's all love. You're, it is. It's all love. I'm always so brutally honest the to the people I care about. She didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we all agree, right? <laughs> you just like are quiet about it. So I feel like that's going to feel better because that tail gets a little annoying. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. 